Hey guys, it's Josh. I'm just here with another piecing update because it's been a while. Um, as you can see, I took out my right lip ring, and now I just have the left, so no more snake bites. That kind of sucks. Um, my reasoning for that was that, as you may know, with some piercings, if your body just doesn't agree with it or it's not healing properly, it will migrate the piercing out of your body. And for whatever reason, like, it was giving me a lot of shit, and I was taking care of it just fine. It just wasn't supposed to, wasn't meant to be, I guess. But what actually happened was it ended up migrating from the inside, shifting this way. So, like, the hole was right on my lip. It looked pretty much like a vertical labret instead of a lip ring. So that wasn't cool. So I took it out and pretty bummed, not gonna lie. And, 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 and. what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. I ordered. I ordered, um, like, I don't know. I don't think I've made a video with this, but. I, a while back, I bought this stainless steel circular barbell from my septum, and it looks badass and all, but what I didn't think of is that it's stainless steel and it's heavy as fuck, and it just, like, you can't really wear it for, like, more than a few hours because it really starts to hurt. And to solve that problem, I went on kingsbodyjewelry.com where I buy most of my plugs and I wanted to pick up one of these which is a solid black acrylic circular barbell and as you know acrylic is plastic so it's really lightweight and I figured this would solve my problem and I went on there and I ordered a 2 gauge because my substance had a 2 and then I waited and waited and waited and waited and it finally came and those assholes sent me a 4 gauge so, I'm not willing to downsize for convenience reasons, it's just fucking stupid. They should have sent me the right size for whatever reason, and I'm still waiting on... Like, I checked my order invoice, and I ordered a 2 gauge, not my mistake, it's their mistake. And I'm still waiting for them to email me back, so hopefully this doesn't take fucking a shitload of time, because I have plans at the end of June. Um... Yeah, so pretty much that failed, and it wasn't even my fault, so that sucks even more. Um, speaking of acrylic and body jewelry that I've also ordered, um, I finally got my ears, both of them, two, three, fourths. And like I said, I've after zero gauge, I never used um, any sort of taper or pincher or anything like that that would force the jewelry in my ear. I have either did a dead stretch because my body was able to comfortably or I used the Teflon tape. So I taped them both up and my right ear is actually pretty thin, only at 3 fourths and it's already thin so I'm a little skeptical but um, I'm going to order some jojoba oil and hopefully lather it up and it will thicken up I guess. And I'm actually going to uh, sort of like a piercing tattoo convention type deal in Chicago um, at the end of June. So, um, yeah, I'm doing that. And, 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 and I'm actually from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I live in South Carolina right now, and it sucks. But, um... Oh uh, god, I don't know how long, but starting on the 18th of June, I will be up in Minnesota. So if you're from Minnesota, you should hit me up, and we should hang out. Just a thought. But yeah, I'll be up there visiting and possibly moving. I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to go to the convention and check that out and speaking of the convention because I took out my right lip ring I'm not satisfied with one so I'm going to take this one out when I get the balls because it means a lot to me 
Um, but yeah, I need to replace it with something. So, my question for you all in this boredom world of YouTube is what do I replace it with? Because I've narrowed it down to either, a, I'm going to get a librette, either, you know, this is one of the choices, get a librette and stretch it to, say, half an inch or so, that, um, or I want to get, like, dimple slash peak slash cheek peak slash Monroe slash Dahlia piercing sort of in this offset area. So tell me what you think, even though I probably won't hold your opinion to much regard. It's not the point. Okay. Um, yeah. So I guess I'm replacing them over the summer. So I'm going to have swollen something from the piercing. And I'm even thinking about getting my first tattoo because I will turn 18 on the 8th of June. So in seven days, I turn 18. So I might just get a few tattoos while I'm up in Minnesota, chilling. Who knows? Haven't decided yet. Um. Yeah, so after I get all that shit sorted out, I should hopefully be completely content with my body modifications. Maybe get this exchange for the right size. Because I'm really getting sick of this obnoxious blue pincher. Yeah, it's just a little weird. Um, and I'm working on Super Secret Project that has to do with my ears because there's a reason I stopped at three fours, and I may or may not let you in on that. You'll just have to wait and see. Uh, if I do go through with this whole project, I will definitely make a whole video about it and let everybody see what I'm doing, and it'll be pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked. So yeah, this is just a life piercing bullshit update, and... Look how long my hair is. Just thought I'd throw that in. Not that anybody really cares. Haven't shaved in like three days. Don't plan on it. So yeah. Alright. Talk to you later.